hello everybody welcome back to pink crafty world today um we are in the continuation of our accordion box and we're gonna do now the fun part of this beautiful box and the fun part is the decoration of this uh cutie in the outside so um it's I grab a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you guys can see, but I grab so many different things. So, so many different things because I don't, I don't make my mind. I don't know what I'm going to be using or doing. Or if I'm going to go putting too much, a little bit or what. And something fall off in the floor. It won't be a Maria's video if something don't fall in the floor. All right, so we're going to start, hopefully. My idea with this is to put a, put a trim. On, um, I'm thinking to use this pretty trim that I got from AliExpress. And with the help of this trim that I got at the Goodwill, it is in color pink. Oh, this is gonna be cute and gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to go all around the sides and I'm going to measure. To measure, I'm going to measure. I'm going to cut it here. And I'm going to cut a second piece of the same length. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue. This here. And for that, we can use the hot glue gun. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to start from this side. And I'm sorry if I move the camera a little bit. We're just gonna put a tiny bit at a time, like small sections of the box. Okay. And now I'm going to do this here. Okay. On. Let's go to the bottom. gonna glue here in the front oops again and we're gonna put our trim right in there you can either glue it inside I'm going to do that I'm going to put a little bit of the glue here and I'm going to push this I got this thing for that all right so I don't burn myself okay so now we have one side you guys see that is all with the trim of course you guys don't have to do this the way I'm doing it I'm just doing the video so you guys see you know how I do things and made you guys get inspiration for what I'm doing so now we're gonna glue this side of the box. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go a little bit of the glue on small sections because hot glue will dry quick. Okay. I think I have to move a little bit too. Do you guys see? It dries quick. This one, don't 
glue very well. part of the box and I'm hoping that I'm not moving the camera too much which I think I am and I apologize for it oh lord Jesus I'm ready so I ordered this of aliexpress to help me you know pressing things down when i'm using the hot glue gun because sometimes i burn myself okay so now we are going to do these okay so And now we're going to do the front again. Um, let's see if I can record this video like this. Okay, so now I'm going to glue the last part here. And I'm going to use this again to press down. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. And I'm going to fold it and stick it inside. So there we go. And it's looking a lot better, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of this ribbon. And that's what I missed, made the mistake on um, uh, Lisa's box. And after I watched her video, I was like, oh my God. Because I want to put a piece of the trim here to cover this line here because it bothers me. But I was so excited to package the box and send it to her and all that jazz uh, that I completely forgot about it. So if you are like me, that you don't like to see that, just cover. <laughs> just cover it and you guys see, it looks so, so cute. Okay, so now we are done with this ribbon for now. And I'm going to grab some of this trim here. And there we go. And this is what I'm going to be using. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me cut this here to the side. Let me use a better pair of scissors. My scissors are getting bad, guys. Just can't believe it. Okay, to make it even in there. Um, to make it even in this side. So it looks pretty. Now I have to find the front from the back. And this one, yes, I'm going to do it like a little bit at a time. <laughs> and we are going to go like that. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue up to there. There we go. Okay, just a little tiny sections. Just to make sure. 
All right. So, I hope you guys be able to see what I'm doing. That I'm in frame. Oh, guys, it's hot and it's raining. When this weather is going to get better in Ohio? Somebody can answer me that? Because, oh my God, we have a, such a long winter. It's just ridiculous and everybody's getting sick. And I hope I don't get sick because oh, I won't be able to handle it probably. <laughs> oh, because the asthma. I hate when I'm sick with the, uh, because it's always ended up in bronchitis. So let's pray to Jesus. And I'm going to cut. I think I cut more than what I was supposed to. So I'm going to go straight here. There we go. And you guys see? Oh, it's looking so, so cute and adorable. This is going to be the most cookie box ever. And when I say cookie, I don't mean cookie the cookie. I mean cookie the cute. Um, I think I'm not going to use, I don't know. I don't want to use more trim probably. Don't know. I'm going to use some floral. Maybe if I second layer it. No. Not, not for now. Okay. So now we are going to grab some other stuff that we have here to decorate with. Um, let me see. Let me see. So have these foam flowers. So I'm going to grab some of them. You guys, I'm not joking. I'm really tired today for some strange reason. Oh, these flowers. Ooh. Yes, and the combination of foamy flowers with the, oh, uh, God, with the ribbon flowers. It's going to be cute. Cute, cute, cute. But I also want to put like, Let me grab my snippers here. My nippers, snippers. Nippers, snippers. Nippers, snippers. I don't know which one will be better. This one. No, I like this one because it's more sparkly. So. And. Uh, are we going to use gold leaves or pink leaves? Or the combination of both. What would, what do you guys think? Pink or gold? These are my pink ones. Maybe I can stick. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab two of them. I'm going to snip the ends. Maybe more. There we go. Oof, I love this thing. And I'm going to snip one of these. Ooh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, that remember me, my friend Carmen. Because she made fun of me because um, she said that I said, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. But it, she used to love it more than me. Ha, huh, Carmen. Hi, Carmen, if you're watching, girl. I hope you are. Love you so much. Man, I wish all of you guys have a channel. Wish that so bad. I want to give a shout out, now that I'm doing this, to our friend Gina from Gina Love to Craft. Go check her channel, guys. She is an amazing girl. She's so sweet. And, um, oh my gosh, she always, she's a big supporter of the, um, uh, crafty community here. And she always is leaving, uh, the most sweetest comments in the videos. 
and um she is spreading the love like confetti i'm telling you guys so go ahead and check her channel again her channel is gina love to craft so gina i know you you will watch this video i know you will <laughs> so thank you so much for your support and i hope everybody go and check her out um last thing i know is she was about a thousand subscribers already so that's awesome gina congratulations i hope that if you don't reach your you don't meet that goal yet you do it very very soon like i wish every other of my friends here in youtube that they do that i wish all all of you guys mary salvado you need a channel because i also love her gloria martinez you need a channel because i love you <laughs> you guys are my besties here in youtube and i would love for you guys to have a channel oh my god gloria makes beautiful things and um mary mary does a beautiful crochet oh my god she is the crochet queen i'm telling you guys and they don't have channels but i wish they will get motivated i'm gonna put these um stems that's how they call them but i'm going to add some of the pink ones <laughs> in here like mix matching you know oh, just like that and i'm going to put a little bit of the glue and please don't attempt to do that if you don't feel comfortable and we are going to let it almost cool off and then we're going to pinch it okay we don't going to pinch it now because it's still hot i'm blowing this thing and i think uh yeah now we can it's still hot but it's just to uh, stay in place a little bit okay while well, we can glue it here in between flowers oh this one came off we will glue it again now i'm going to put a little bit of um glue here again okay So, <laughs> mm. maybe I want to put this one down here. Oh, yes. This one down here. Oh. And I'm going to put oh god it's hard to cut off there there we go this over here and I like to use tons of flowers guys because if you haven't why not use them right not necessary to keep um piling things and not get used i agree with my friend carmen from carmen treasures she always said that she always said use your stuff i don't like accumulating things use them <laughs> I'm going to glue that there. Look how beautiful that corner looks. And I'm going to do the same thing over here with this white flower. These white flowers are also from AliExpress. The only thing is I wasn't too happy with them because they sent them and they was like all squished like in the packaging. So every time I'm going to use that one of them, let me see where's the rest of them. So I see like some, some of them are okay, but 
I always have to fix them like a little bit here and there. All right, so I think that looks gorgeous. I'm going to do the same thing, but in a small um, way down here in the corner. I have this one that is smaller. These flowers are so cute. I get these ones on Tuesday morning, long time ago, actually. And we're gonna do the same thing, but I think we're gonna use less. Maybe just, let me see. Maybe just one. One in here. Yes, why not? You know? And you guys see, yeah, it's like my shabby chic style. But this is what I like. This is what I love, what I enjoy. And if you got another, you know, another uh, style of crafting, you can, you know, use it. I was thinking to make this uh, with the floral. I know that will be beautiful from Maggie Holmes oh my goodness it will be so cute but I don't have nothing but the paper pad for that collection but one of these days I will be getting my stash on a little bit um more ready for that you know so I'm going to I'm going to, guys, give me one second. Now somebody's knocking my door, of course. Y si lo hace por los lados, lo mismo diseño. En top, it will be cuter. Like here? Yeah. I feel like that'd be hard though, just because like I had to actually like kind of measure it, kind of. Mm. But I was also thinking like even just doing like black. That would uh, that's cool. Like washi or use washi tape. That too. I have tons of washi tape here. No, right over here is cute. But okay. Pon tu música bajita porque estoy grabando. Is this going to be a long time? Ah, uh, no, I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, guys, that was my daughter. She was showing me that she can be crafty too. Because she decorated um, one of those uh, letter with the likes from Heidi Swap. She decorated that. And she want me to see it. So, of course. Okay. So. Yeah. Let me grab some of the pink like I did. With that one. With the other one. Oh, my God. There we go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. I'm going to put a dot of glue and I'm going to set that there. 
they'd be all right, hopefully. There you go. So now we are going to grab flower flowers. I'm going to stick them in there. I'm going to use some of my foam flowers. This one over here and now some of the white ones to make it uh, to make it looks even you know Okay, so I was thinking to put a butterfly, like, um, I think I have some smaller ones. Let me see if I can find them. And I have this here. I still have some of these. Uh, my friend Sandra from Sandra's Hall, she sent me like two or three packages of these one time because she can find the most beautiful I'm telling you guys, her Dollar Tree and the Dollarama in Canada, you can find the most beautiful things at the most awesome price, okay? So, um, she found these ones and she sent me some of these. And I was like, oh my God. So, I really don't know. I think I should use the hot pink one, right? Like maybe just one of them. Maybe like here. Oh, that'd be so cute. Yes, and thank you, Sandra. I, you know, I'm trying to hoard these because I'm been hoarding these, I'm telling you, because I don't have no more, just these ones. And they are so beautiful. Like I use it for special, special, special projects. That's it, you see? And this is what I have left. Um, I've been using them, but very carefully. <laughs> Ah, uh, I fall in love like that with things. And I know it's bad, but it's because they're so cute. Okay, I'm going to put this here. And tell me if this is not the cutest thing whatsoever. If somebody said the wrong thing or somebody do not agree with me. Gosh, people, oh, we are awesome here awesome i bring so much things and i don't use all of them but oh my god i'm so happy how this project came out oh guys look how pretty this is gorgeous beautiful anything you want to call it tell me if this is not cute this is such such a cute project um it's beautiful for mother's day and it just doesn't gonna take you too long for your daughters, your mom, your grandma, um, your sister, anybody. And you maybe can cut out a happy Mother's Day or some sentiment. Mine, I don't like to put sentiments on it in case um, 
I would like for the person or the person, the recipient or if it's for me, um, if they wanted to display like all, all year round, they can. I'm in love. Look at these guys. So beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this trim in this side. And I think we call it done because you guys see, I'm going to put this from here to here. So let's do that real quick. Okay. From here to here. All right. Mm. And to cut that there and I'm going to turn the box and we're going to do the same thing in this side all right this is another trim that I love love the color love this pink color of this trim so I'm using it but I'm like trying to be careful because it's so hard for me to find trims here where I live. Like we don't have, uh, like some of you guys have these um, uh, crafty stores. But look, guys, this is this is done and it's beautiful. Okay, and just so so you guys can see, you guys can put a lot of stuff on this here. Like you can send embellishments like this, and you can put them in there. Um, let me see. Let me grab all these ones. I see I have all these here. All these gems and stuff. You can send friend mail. Like if you want to send stuff like that. You can put them in there. And you'll see how cute is that. You don't have to do extra packaging. You just do your box. And you put everything inside there. And look how beautiful. Or if you do die cuts. You can do die cuts. Um, you can send different things inside um this cute box you can use this as a photo box and you can put your photos it's um now for mother's day um you can create a box and you have a bunch of photos you want to keep them together um this is a nice way to keep them and this box will last you for a very long time and because it's very well made once you're done with your project you're going to see that the box is strong and it can hold a lot of stuff well guys thank you so much for watching um thank you so much for all your support i hope that you guys enjoy as much as i did uh decorating this beautiful beautiful box and um, if you guys did don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel it's totally free i would love to have you here and be part of the family also um and don't forget to give me uh leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or any any suggestions or anything you want to say you can say it and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye now